Hi Welcome to GTEC Let us talk about absorption of light during photosynthesis Here you can see the depiction of photosynthesis process here Now we are discuss about the steps of photosynthesis The first step is here the CO2 which is enters through this tomato in the leaves you can see it over here and then the water enters through the roots which is depicted over here the chlorophyll absorbs the sunlight so that the chemical reaction is carried out from the chemical reaction the glucose is made you can see it here here the glucose you can see the glucose here and finally the oxygen exists through this tomato so this is the whole process of photosynthesis now we are going to see about photosynthesis here you can see the reaction of photosynthesis that is carbon dioxide react with water in the presence of sunlight which which is absorbed by chlorophyll and then it gives glucose and oxygen this reaction is carried out in the photosynthesis Now we are going to see even more about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process which is used by plants and other organisms to convert light energy. This process normally from the sun. The chemical energy that can be later released to fuel the organism activities. This chemical energy is stored in carbohydrate molecules such as sugar which are synthesized from carbon dioxide and water you can see the water and carbon dioxide they both are absorbed by chlorophyll and glucose oxygen is getting out from the chlorophyll and this process is carried out in front of sunlight you can see it over here Now we are going to see about the important factor of photosynthesis that is light. The photosynthesis is divided into two stages that is the process which using sunlight and the other is another one is the process which do not use sunlight. Here you can see the light is absorbed by thylakoid but here in calvin cycle there is no light energy it gives oxygen and it gives sugar we can see the two stages over here the photosynthesis takes place in chloroplast that is cp you can see it over here when the light reaction is occur then thylakoid it form two stages that is stroma lamella which is also called unstacked membrane and another one is granula lamella that is stacked membranes and now the carbon reduction reaction occur here in the stroma you can see the stroma here here the carbon reduction reactions occur you can see chloroplast envelope it has outer membrane intermembrane space and internal membrane here is the granum and stromal thylakoids and thylakoid is here
The photosynthesis process uses a light energy to build a carbon compound. You can see over here, here the carbon dioxide react with water in the presence of light energy so that we are getting out polyoxide, methylene and oxygen. You can see the whole process here. And now we will see about the basic structure of cell. You can see here the basic structure is nothing but the cell. The outer surface is called cell wall. You can see here the cell wall and this portion which is nothing but the vacuole. Vacuole is presented in plant cell but it is not presented in animal cell. And you can see here the plant and each and every plant has a cell and each and every cell have a structures. You can see here. In cell structure, it contains and this portion is called chloroplast. It consists of chlorophyll. This chlorophyll involved in photosynthesis process that is it absorbs the sunlight and carbon dioxide and water in it. And these three parts are react with each other and finally it gives glucose that is nothing but the sugar and then and it gives the oxygen. This oxygen is important for breathing and normally the photosynthesis process is carried out in daytime because the light is the most important factor for photosynthesis. Now we see detailed about cell structure. You can see the cell structure here. This is the cell structure. Inside of the cell structure you can see and this portion is called phloem cell which is represented over here. And this whole portion is called xylem cell. You can see that. And this portion is fully covered by phloem and xylem cell. You can see it. Let us see about the equation of photosynthesis. Here you can see the 6 molecules of carbon dioxide. It is added with 12 molecules of water. In the presence of light, this light is absorbed by plant enzymes and this reaction is given into one molecule of glucose that is plant biomass. You can see it over here and six molecules of oxygen and six molecules of water. So this equation which represents how the process of photosynthesis takes place. You can see it clearly here. Now we are going to see about the phases of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis consists two phases. They are light dependent reaction and light independent reaction. You can see here the light dependent reaction is carried out and here the light independent reaction is carried out. In light dependent reaction, the phase converts light energy into chemical energy and it produces ATP that is adenine triphosphate its molecules to be used to fuel the light independent reaction. Whereas the light independent reaction, the phase is used to produce ATP that is adenine triphosphate and it makes simple sugars. You can see here the light dependent reaction is carried out here in the presence of light. This light is absorbed by 
chlorophyll and it convert a chemical energy by using ATP and here you can see the light independent reaction that is Calvin cycle it do not prefer light energy for producing the sugar now we are going to see even more about light dependent reaction in light dependent reaction it requires light you can see here and it occurs in chloroplast that is thylakoids the chlorophyll traps energy from light chlorophyll is nothing but the thylakoid and finally the light exits the electrons you can see the electrons here the light which is absorbed by thylakoid and finally the electron is emitted in light dependent reaction kicks e out of chlorophyll to an electron transport chain you can see here the e is nothing but electron the electron transport chain a series of proteins in thylakoid membrane you can see the thylakoid membrane here this is thylakoid membrane here the electron transport chain series of protein is represented here now we are going to see about light independent reaction that is dark reaction in dark reaction it do not requires light you can see that is no light This process is simply called a Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle occurs in stroma of chloroplast. It requires carbon dioxide and it uses ATP that is adenine triphosphate and NADPH which is used as fuel to run. And finally, the Calvin cycle makes glucose, sugar from carbon dioxide and hydrogen. you can see the whole process of calvin cycle over here by using adenine triphosphate it produces three carbon simple sugar you can see it over here and now we are going to see about the light independent versus light dependent the both process are differ from sunlight that is this process is carried out in front of sunlight and this process that is calvin cycle which do not use sunlight for producing glucose but both are using atp that is adenine triphosphate but here the light independent reaction is occur in stroma you can see the light independent reaction in calvin cycle and here the light dependent reaction occur in thylakoids this is the thylakoid which absorbs the sunlight to produce oxygen you can see it over here the end product of calvin cycle is glucose Now we are going to see the factors that affects the photosynthesis. The first factor is light intensity. If the light increases, then the rate of photosynthesis also increases. Here you can see the graph. It shows the rate of photosynthesis affected by light intensity. The light intensity increases, also the photosynthesis process also increases. and the second factor is carbon dioxide if the carbon dioxide increases then the rate of photosynthesis increases here you can see the graph depiction 
which represented the rate of photosynthesis affected by carbon dioxide that is if the carbon dioxide increase then photosynthesis process also increased here the carbon dioxide factor which is represented over here in calvin cycle and the third factor is temperature if the temperature is low then the rate of photosynthesis is low if it is high then the rate of photosynthesis is also high but if the temperature is too hot then rate of photosynthesis drops here this graph shows the rate of photosynthesis you can see the temperature is high then the rate of photosynthesis is high if it is low then the photosynthesis rate is low you can see it over here let us talk about the respiration in respiration we are carried out the alcoholic fermentation that is without oxygen the yeast cells respire as follows you can see here the glucose which gives in the presence of enzymes carbon dioxide and ethanol and energy the amount of energy released and aerobically is smaller when compared with the aerobic method here you can see the alcoholic fermentation produces NAD+ ATP that is adenine triphosphate and ethanol carbon dioxide and now we are going to see about industrial use of yeast fermentation here the alcohol is produced and this alcohol is used for brewing beer and making wine here you can see how they bring beer and the wine is making and then the carbon dioxide also released which is used for baking the bread you can see the bread this bread is baked by using the carbon dioxide in this process and now we are going to move to the topic of lactic acid fermentation here the muscle needed to produce energy and aerobically by breaking down glucose into lactic acid here you can see the glucose is break down in the presence of enzymes and it which gives lactic acid that is just represented as 2 C3 H6 and O3 and it gives the energy here the lactic acid will cause muscle fatigue and muscle cramps if they are allowed to accumulate a larger amount of oxygen is needed to break down the accumulated lactic acid which into carbon dioxide and water or tanned glucogen in liver for storage so we pant after doing exercise you can see the lactic acid deposition and the fermentation is carried out over here you can see it here let us see about the transpiration and photosynthesis and now we are going to take a leaf in it it have the vertical section through leaf midrib inside of the me leaf midrib it has a vertical section through the leaf cell and this is the actual section it contains the upper epidermis palisade mesophyte xylem phloem and spongy mesophyte and lower epidermis and also it has a guard cell stoma that is it is closed 
the water carbon dioxide oxygen is represented over here and these three things is travel along the vertical section through the leaf cell you can see here and now let's see about the vertical section through part of the palisade cell that is in the dark section you can see here and here the respiration process only carried out the water sugars carbon dioxide and oxygen which is represented here and these four things which they are travel through the vertical section you can see here and now let's see about the vertical section through leaf cell in light you can see the parts of the vertical section here the xylem and this is the phloem here the stoma which will opened up and the water carbon dioxide oxygen is getting travel to the vertical section in the leaf cell you can see here the width of the stoma is 0.1 mm that is millimeter you can see how the water carbon dioxide oxygen is travel along the leaf cell in the vertical section that is the leaf cell inside it have the mitochondria chloroplast cell membrane cell wall let us talk about aerobic this is anaerobic respiration you can see here the aerobic respiration and the anaerobic respiration in aerobic respiration the glucose is completely oxidized into carbon dioxide and water whereas the anaerobic respiration the glucose is incompletely oxidized into alcohol and carbon dioxide and aerobic respiration which is takes place in the oxygen rich environment but anaerobic respiration is take place in insufficiency of lack of oxygen and this respiration that is aerobic respiration which is carried out in mitochondria or cellular environment whereas anaerobic this process is carried out in cytoplasm of the cell the anaerobic respiration is it gives the side effect but whereas the aerobic respiration gives no side effect that is it is a harmless to the organisms you can see the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration over here now we are going to discuss about respiration in plants during daytime the plants utilize the carbon dioxide to perform photosynthesis and release out the oxygen you can see it over here this is during daytime and during night time the plants respire taking in oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide and exchange of gases in plants takes place through special structure that is called stoma that is stomata in stomata it is a small structure which present in a epidermal cell that located on the surface of the leaf here you can see the small structure of stomata this stomata with its guard cells is called a stomatal apparatus you can see here the guard cells and chloroplast that the stomata is placed over here this is called epidermis 